All right, and uh, now that we have this, let's just keep going further, and we're going to look at now the equation of a plane, because here we have distance from this point S, uh, for, yeah, from the point S to the to the plane PQR, or that contains this triangle at PQR. So let's write the equation of a plane. So note that the equation of a plane can be derived based on the fact that the dot product is equal to zero for perpendicular vectors. And yeah, I haven't covered uh, equation of a plane before, so it's a good, good time to start now. So what I'm going to do is let's just draw a plane like this. And when we talk about plane, just basically a rectangular uh, in, in 3D uh, rectangle, etc. And now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put the x and y axis a bit like this. See, so that's y, and there is our x. And there's our, this is our z. There's the origin, zero. And let's say we had a point here. I'm going to call this point uh, over here is at x0, y0, z0. And let's say there is a just vector like this. And this goes to the x, y, z, and a point right here. So it's a vector like that. And this could be anywhere. So that's the whole idea of a plane. So anywhere around this uh, perfect uh, rectangular uh, sheet right there. And now, uh, and then this can extend to infinity, et cetera, if, you're, if it's not bounded. So now what we'll do is uh, we're going to use the fact that the dot product is equal to zero for perpendicular vectors. So if we take a, a, a vector perpendicular to this plane, like this, so this is, let's say this is perpendicular, and we'll call this n or normal to it or perpendicular to it. And let's say this has the uh, components for this vector, a capital A, capital B, and C, like that. Yeah, so thus the dot product of this uh, perpendicular of these two perpendicular vectors, where we can get the position vector over from here to here by subtracting. So what we'll get is well, uh, we'll go a capital A capital B capital C dot, and then the position vector of of this vector right here. Position vector all we do is shift it over to here, etc. And likewise for this one there. Yes, and uh, this vector right here, uh, this is actually the position vector. So this is the same thing as uh, over here and so on. So, uh, but these ones have the coordinates, so then we could get the position vector, and let's just write that down, and that's gonna be, well, just the difference, x minus x zero, and then y minus y zero, and then z minus z zero, and then recall from my dot product video, if they're perpendicular, that's equal to zero. So, and now we could just uh, do the dot product, remember that, we just multiply this by this, B by the middle, C that this one, add them all. So we just multiply by the components and add. So what we get is A X minus X zero plus B Y minus Y zero plus C Z minus uh, Z zero. And this equals to all zero. And uh, you can uh, stop right here or continue further. I'm gonna continue further and simplify it. So that's one way of writing the equation of a plane. The next one is you can uh, expand this out. This equals to, well, a times x, then a, then, neg then minus a times x zero, but we'll do that after. So a times x, and the next one is b times y plus c times z. b times y plus c times z, and then minus, when you do this all together and I add, the, add those up, we'll get this ax zero plus then this b times y zero, and then z times, I mean, uh, c times z zero. Like that, this equals to zero. All right, so now that we have this set up, and what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna call this uh, lowercase d, and then just write this out as uh, ax plus by plus c uh, z uh, minus lowercase d equals to zero. So this is the equation of a plane that's uh, usually given.